an exhibition. There he yeah. is. Justin Wong is the person he's up against, I guess. You can see Ricky <laughs> in the background there, but Justin's sitting down. We saw Justin earlier. You know, we were waiting outside with Ricky and some other members of Team mm -hmm. EG, but Justin was already in here. So come oh, here you go. go. Yep. Oh, okay, good stuff. Oh, and look, Justin's go. He was playing Bison earlier casually. Look at that stun bar. Yeah. Look at that stun bar. He's Don't get hit. Up. Oh, almost there. He's trying not to let him get away from the stun. There it is, the stun. And now you can pretty much expect this to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to keep it fancy. Yeah. Dude, the that's, pressure, a, that's a really good button, by the way. Stand the short. pressure from Kamalfi. You saw it right when we switched back to the match. He got two throws in a row. He's really got that pressure game. And you see how the dash forward is really fast, too. We didn't see any of the Ryus doing any forward dashes. Here we go. Oh, Almost done again. One more. One more throw one more. and stun. Yeah. Don't get touched. There it is. <laughs> stun. Just like that. Over under on how many stuns we're going to see from Combo Fiend Kumites today. Oh, dashing under. That was so beautiful. So Justin now trying to get in there, trying to get something going here. Nice pokes. Oh, wow. He just walked right he up. He walked there. up and parried is what he did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. V-trigger into throw. And again, that V-trigger is not the safest move. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, Justin was in the middle of a dash. So I think uh, Kamo Fiend did see that. And you see Kamo Fiend explaining some stuff to Justin right now. Telling him, this is how I bodied you. Yeah. This is how I'm going to body you again. <laughs> I'm going to come up and throw you and then hit you with Stand Strong in the sweep, and then throw you and then you're going to die. So once again, this is the first time Kong, I mean Justin Wong has been able to touch the game today. Yeah. So th this is brand new to him. And like I said, he was playing a lot of Cammy and he actually, when he saw me, he's like, no wonder you like this game. Cammy's so good. And she is. Cammy's she really is strong good, in this yeah. game. Very strong. Yeah. Of course, these are two very, very long-time top players. They've had some sick sets in mm -hmm. other games in the past. But you know, now, of course, Combo Fiend works for Capcom. He's working on Street Fighter V, so he knows all of the things. Right. right. Justin is playing for the first time, so you can definitely see the difference. Oh, he parried right there, but then was able to block the scissor kick. The scissor it must kick just be a startup start thing. But you yeah. see, he tried to do something after right. that, after uh, that anti-air parry. Right. Doesn't really work it that way. It was really hard to, to, to punish someone when you parried their jump in. Yeah, agreed. It was really tough. Like, if they did a very late jump attack, you could not hit them before they landed. So Justin playing a little... Oh, confirms into the super KO. Combo Fiend just lets you think, uh, I think I'm doing well, just long enough to catch you with that. And you can see, uh, Combo Fiend, a little more liberal usage on the meters. Yes. This game, you don't have to save it as much as a lot of other games, because you you don't want you don't need to save two bars for FADCs or anything like that. Ten seconds into this round, he already has a third of his whole bar back, oh, so it's totally geez, fine. Go. Yeah, don't get touched. Oh. oh. Okay, good stuff there. You see the stun going down. And that's nice, because you can see your stun meter now, so you know exactly when you need to go on the defensive. Right. Oh yeah, proper punishment. No combo in the scissor kick. Ooh. Oh, did he get him? Oh, too far. Oh, oh come on, Peter. There. Oh, here comes Justin. Oh, that's oh, guard, guard break. break. Yeah, you can't block that. That was the EX. It charged up much faster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, again, uh, I know when the early videos came out, a lot of people are like, why does this look just like... Uh, look at Peter laughing, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they're like, why does this game look so similar to Street Fighter 4? And like I said, once you see it in person, <laughs> and I'm hoping all you guys at home right now can see it too. It, oh, it looks yes. distinctly different. Oh, Here's he's the guy. Here's Birdie. Buttons. Buttons all day. His buttons are so good. That standing fierce hits like the whole screen, I swear. If you haven't seen him yet, you're in for a treat. He's a silly character, but he's really good. He likes beer and food, so Indeed. he really let himself go. Oh, donuts! He's building up his V-trigger with donuts and then a banana peel. Oh, he got that. Oh, the armor on his on that on the head. Look at that stun. Yeah. Only by normals. Yeah. No combos oh, or anything. Four oh, fierce has, has armor. Yeah. That's what it was. That's right. Oh, more donuts getting that V trigger. He's got. Oh no, yeah, he's got a full V trigger now. Yeah, so you can't just stay away from him because he'll just get V trigger going. Right. So now he has it. So now all of his headbutts are much safer. You see him do two headbutts. But Justin's still used to that low jab, low jab, low strong. You see, it wasn't working oh. for him. He's trying to be fancy, is, is Combo Fiend. 
Oh, there it is. That's the spinning pile driver version that he has. It's just half circle back punch, that's though. Right, it's that's not. Right. It's not a 360. That motion is not in this game. There are command grabs, though. Yeah, he also has a leaping command grab. If you're familiar with Birdie, in uh, Alpha games, he had that move where he would jump and land and throw you. That's just a command move now. It's much slower, but so you can catch people off guard with it. He has a lot of really good buttons. Okay, there's the can. Is it still there? No, it's not anymore. But we've seen Stan, how far Stan Fierce is. Uh, oh, catches him with the chain. Oh, and the stun? Uh, not a big oh, combo character. Oh, yeah. And his down strong, down medium punch. Oh, wow. Trying it to be cute. It was a dolphin dive. Yeah, trying to catch him. That, the EX one grabs a lot quicker. He grabs before he lands. But the, the regular ones, he has to land oh, first. Okay. Oh, Justin. Catch. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. So one more combo from... Oh, yeah. This, oh, but again, too used to doing those light attacks. If he had just done stand strong, low strong scissors, he would have won that. Yeah, yeah. Manages to take the round anyway, though. Oh, that was that was the turnaround headbutt charge. You only need one button to charge it, but instead of charging forward, he kind of does like a an upwards headbutt. Unless right. you have V trigger activated, then he'll go forward and have lots of armor. V triggers there. Yeah, you see, he, as soon as he gets it, he's in there. Why not? You see how long it lasts for Birdie? Right. Oh, yeah. it's pretty safe. Oh, look at that. Ugh. Look at the damage on that. Oh, sick. oh, that was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Is that enough? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Justin. Now, Justin was talking about how he was really interested in Bison. Yeah, he really enjoyed Bison in Street Fighter 4. He really liked he? Bison in that game, yeah. Okay. He would use him on stream a lot. And in case you guys don't know, his stream is uh, EG J Wong. Was it 1G? Is it 3Gs or 1G? He's on there on Twitch, but <laughs> he definitely has. Um, he's played a lot of Bison on there. Well, he's a very different character now, but I agree with Justin that he's that he's fun. In fact, both of these characters I like a lot. I feel like Birdie is the is the most buttonsy of the cast right now. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You really good hit, normal attacks. He had like the biggest range on his buttons as well. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That stand for and you saw there was that counter hit animation. Bison spun around a little bit. Yeah, look, look at that, that. sweep. Yeah, oh. And then a command throw. That stun. Just like that. Look at that! You see that red? Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> so down strong I think is really good too. We've seen it as an anti-air I think just once, but it's it's amazing, seriously, as an anti-air. Now that is not a throw. That is a hit. Correct. And Justin is just getting caught by it. But you can hold it, and you can also... The fierce there button will go up diagonally. So you can actually bait people jumping at you with it. Oh, try to eat a donut, but got punished for it. I never thought I'd say that, but... <laughs> yeah, well... Nice, he can get the combo, yep. There it is. But off of the combo, the supers do get scaled. So it's not going to do as much as the raw super. Oh! Oh, nice! Yeah, beautiful stuff. Jump back, defensive fierce, to catch that headbutt. So that's back forward... Uh, punches that little ball right there. If you do the EX, he does throw a fireball, but otherwise it just hangs out in front of him. Bison, right? Bison. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's, so there's the EX. There's the EX one right there. You can see that it has a little explosion when it hits, so you can use it to get in. There's oh. the can. Can is... Oh, it rolled away. Okay. So one. Of, so his, basically his V skill is he eats something and builds up his V trigger meter. His V... Yeah, the V trigger meter. But right. he has three different ways that he can eat food. He can eat a banana which just drops and kind of acts as a as a like a space control. Uh, he can throw a soda can which rolls across the floor like a projectile. Oh! Okay. And that's enough to kill. Yeah, in V-Trigger it does more. Yeah. And then of course he can just eat the donut which means he just builds it and then just immediately is able to act. 
So that's the scary thing. Even though he's a buttonsy character and you're like, you know what, I'm going to stay away from him and make him come to me. Then all he's going to do is just jump the screen away and eat donuts all day. Those donuts. And then all of a sudden now he has safe headbutts, you know, and safe EX headbutts. So it's a really interesting way to force people into action. Oh, Justin's going with Cammy now. So he was enjoying using her a little bit earlier. Cammy, you used a lot of too. Mm -hmm. What do yes. you think about her? I think she's really good. She's really strong. Um, she Once she gets you mixed up, her dive kick is still really, really good. Her dive kick is probably... Oh, that's her V skill, by the way. It's a very fast spin knuckle. Still not sure it's one of the better V skills, but you can find ways to use it for sure. But So here we go with the mix up. And the spiral arrow is really fast. Does not hit low anymore, though. And you have to be careful the uppercut also goes really far forward. So if they jump right on top of your head, you got to use the light one to catch them. But yeah, very rush down character. Nice okay. pokes with her buttons as well. You can see the size of the dive kick. Huge. Yeah. That's the V skill that Chun-Li has. You saw that little jump. Short jump. Hits on the way up. Yeah, she can cancel it and stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, one of the... Oh, that thing goes so far now. Yeah. I kept using it at ranges that were too close and I would whiff. But one of the things about Kami, um, a lot of the characters in this game, like Nash, for example, his low forward reaches really far. Not cancelable in the special move. Right. Kami's low forward, re that button right there, reaches so far, still cancelable. Great whiff punish move. Look at that. Oh. What a punish. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, the regular one will not combo, only the EX one. Yeah, you see that stand forward right there? It's a really great poke. Probably her best poke. Her standing roundhouse does not hit in that same direction anymore. So we just saw the benefit of Chun-Li's V-Trigger. It gives additional hits on her medium and fierce and roundhouse buttons. Uh, which means that she has extra links. It means she has better pressure. Again, when you block something, you take white life damage. So if you have multiple uh, block opportunities, then it'll deal more white life damage. Right. It just gives her a lot better pressure. Uh, EX Bird Kick still a great wake-up button. Yeah, it's really interesting so far. Combo Fiend hasn't really been able to... Oh, wait, never mind. That's Justin playing Cami. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice. Cancel into the super. But yeah, he hasn't really been taking advantage of the dive kicks as much. She has really good dive. And the one nice thing about it now, she does have a height restriction on her dive kick, but if you do it too early, it'll just wait till it gets to the right height and then come down with the dive kick. Oh, okay. All right, good stuff. Yeah, also, when you do the hooligan, if the hooligan passes over them and you hit kick, the dive kick will actually turn around. So that's what Combo Fiend was doing a lot. He would get up in your face, hit a lot of buttons, very similar to how she played in AE 2012. Just kind of in your face, a lot of yeah. frame traps, and then just mix you up with dive kicks. Like she has a lot, her, a lot of her buttons are different behaving, but her overall gameplay style feels probably the most familiar out of all the six characters. I think Nash is one of the most different. Oh, he's, Nash he's is, not at all like how yeah. he was in Alphas. Don't think of him as a Guile clone in this game. He's not a, so a Sonic Boom anti-air flash kick kind of character. He's a pressure character. Yeah, not only that, he doesn't have any anti-airs. So he'll, you'll see that move where he does like the, the double upward kick move yeah. with the EX version. And you're like, oh, EX, this looks like an uppercut. No, it, it gets stuffed by jump-ins. Look at that, already stunned. Oh, here we go, big combo time. Okay. Yeah, that move right there does not have a lot of invinci invincibility. He also has some chains um, target combos. His low strong chains into the overhead that he has, which is towards strong. Right. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Justin had that combo going. He could have did low jab, low strong. <laughs> Dude, look at wow, this Wow, that was just a very short period of time. Yep. 80 seconds still into the match. Oh my gosh. Where is he? Where is he? What an end. Yeah, so he's very, very pressure heavy character. Mm -hmm. Lots of uh, mobility. You know, sort of like Bison, he has uh, slow walk speed, but mm -hmm. his other options I think really make up for that. Right. He, uh, shout outs also to Mad Cats. You see the nice little joysticks that they're using over there. Let me see if I can show people.